Welcome back, Zero K fans. Sorry for the delay for people watching on stream. Apparently, the game had turned my VSync on. There were some issues I had with. I, one of the things that Spring Engine does when you crash is that it. Well, I think it's more the lobby than Spring Engine. It prompts going to safe mode. And while there's supposed to be a toggle switch that's safe mode, it doesn't turn that on. It just changes your all your Spring settings file which is not the in-game settings, it's an outside settings file, because there's two settings files, because of course there is. And then it changes that up, so then I had to automatically change that back, because otherwise I couldn't get everything working the way I wanted to, because it gets some hidden settings are not in the settings menu that needed to change. And then that changed VSync back on, and that I think was causing the performance issues that you guys were watching before, the stuttering and all that stuff. So hopefully that'll be gone, because this is back to the way it's been for the last several weeks, not the way it was for the last hour. Let's begin! <laughs> So, Flipstip and Clone... Oh, was it say Anarchy? Dude, I meant Flipstip. I'm sorry, one sec. I'm terribly sorry. It's Flipstip. But, yeah, we'll just get that fixed up. So, yeah, Flipstip and Clone on Red Comet, which should be interesting because high level match, that's... But... Uh, hopefully high level match, I'd say. I'm assuming it's a high level match. So flips up going for light vehicles. Clone going for light vehicles, not tanks. I'm actually a bit surprised there. I'm not kidding. I kind of expected tanks. Couple darts from flip tip. Couple darts from clone. Interesting. Okay, so it's not just dart scorcher mason anymore. It's apparently dart dart mason now. That's apparently the thing. In before quotes. Yeah, even flips tip expects clone to go for heavy tanks. Like I'm not the only one. But no, flip tip. I guess will be surprised that. Clone is, in fact, going for light vehicles. So, yeah, that's... And that's cool. Oh, what the... Okay, I guess that wasn't the problem. I don't know what's going on with this machine. It didn't bug me. I need a new CPU. I know I need a new CPU. I just, I just haven't had a chance to bother to buy one yet. It's the thermal paste. I don't want to deal with thermal paste. I hate dealing with thermal paste. It's so hard to figure out make, to make sure you have it exactly right. <sighs> that's the that's the problem for me. I just can't be arsed to deal with that. But anyway, thermal paste aside. So flip step. First one of the scorches from the looks of it. Clone getting a few to the southeast. Flip step not. Too worried about that. Should be able to tear apart that Scorcher, no problem. Oh, never mind. Clone escaping? Well, I mean, okay, at least it, it pushes away Clone's Scorcher. That's the important thing. Flips up, however, kind of low on power. Moving towards the, the north. Clone moving a worker towards the south, moving their commander up. Interesting, their commander going to a more defensive position. Normally, the commander does what Flipstip's doing, where they move over to the north or south. Normally, that's not... Normally, this is reserved for the workers, because that's an easier place to defend. But no, in this case, the commander going up there, even with an econ commander, it would still be further out. Toothpaste would destroy the CPU, Orphelius. Don't even joke. Ah, in my chat sometimes. Anyway, so clone, clone and flipstep kind of even right now. Not much can be really said because at this point, neither of them have really pushed clone a bit stronger economically. Flipstep about the same militarily. So no real advantage there. But flipstep is keeping clone kind of on their toes. Clone doesn't. I mean, they they know the southeast is open, and actually flipstep about to develop that in force. Well, Clone, on the other hand, not really developing the Northwest. So right now, Clone is in a pretty good position while Flipstep... Sorry, Flipstep is in a good position. Clone is aware of what's going on. Sort of. This dart actually... Flipstep, deal with the dart! Grant out loud! You gotta deal with that dart! Okay, good, they're dealing with the dart. Same time, though, it looks like about to lose... No, not quite. Not quite losing that. Almost thought they were gonna lose that Scorcher there. Flipstep just about lost the Scorcher. And now they did, well, okay, they took a Scorcher out in the process, so at least that's fine. It's still even. Nearly got caught out, though, and still that Scorcher can't easily get rid of the dart. Oh, man, that Mason. Losing that Mason. 
Ouch, there needs to be another Mason to replace that, because, I mean, Flipster's falling behind economically. And that was a good set of developments, but Kluwen is about to get, I mean, good development plan, I should say, to the southeast. That might be problematic. Oh, boy. Oh, Flipster, never mind. Flipster deciding they're not going to bother trying to build up too much. They're going to try to harass and then retreat because there's a Lotus there, and yeah, that's probably the best idea. In this particular case, with all the Scorchers around, they have a disadvantage of Scorchers. That is not a free expansion. Clone, as usual, playing very defensively. This is the clone I'm used to. The last few times I've seen clone play, they were nowhere near as defensive and nowhere near as keen on preserving their units as I was used to, but this is this feels back to form. Feels like Clone is back to being Clone. And playing how Clone plays, which is really defensively and making sure not to lose any units as much as possible. Although admittedly, not much in the way of defenses to the north. There is the commander there, which is at level 1, has a beam laser. That would be diveable. That is so diveable. I think that's actually what Flipset might have been trying to do. Actually, that was what Flipset was trying to do. That was four Scorchers. That was the exact amount you needed. That was what Flipset was trying to do exactly. Push four Scorchers in here. And tear everything else to shreds. Like, that's basically the gist of how it works. That is how you want this thing set up. So, I, I mean, that's obviously not successful. But, yeah, four Scorchers, that means dive. And Kloon just getting further and further ahead militarily. Flips up actually fairly even economically. The southeast isn't really getting developed. The south, the east center, I should say, is getting developed. And the south center getting hit hard. Although that lotus is going to be a problem. Oh, the lotus is plural. That's going to be a problem. Four scorches coming in. I mean, Flipstep clearly was expecting the commander to be here as well. I mean, this is where the commander normally is. I don't know if Flipstep knows what the commander even is. This not going well for Flipstep. Not at all. Hmm. Yeah, does... I don't think Flipstep knows this. I mean, they know that something's over here, but they don't really know what. I guess they probably figure out now. They probably know by now the commander is up in the north. But they don't know... They hadn't really known before. Hmm. So we sweep the switch over. Oh, partial switch over to, lo to levelers. Not really to ravagers, though. Levelers on both sides. Leveler versus leveler. Lipstep will probably lose this fight. Why am I saying probably? Why am I saying probably right as the thing happens? I'm hedging way too much there. Not probably. That was. That was. I mean, have to think. I mean, that was two to one. Two to one for a unit that can't really be micromanaged. And a bunch of scorches. Clone coming in for a counter. This is a counterattack for the ages. I don't think anything here is going to deal with this. The Lotus may not even be up in time. And even if it is, that's not enough. Still, nice attack from Clone. Both sides hitting each other fairly hard, but I think Clone is going to be able to do far more damage. Lotus is up, but everything here is destroyed. Everything here is gone. This Lotus won't even protect too much. And the Scorchers, this set of Scorchers gets through for free. Takes a bit of damage, but gets through for free. Ah, uh, one damage Scorcher at the front, though. Not the best place for a damage Scorcher, but still, Lotus is getting torn to shreds. These Scorchers are doing a number on everything in Flipstep's base. Going north from here... Are they going to go north from here? Nope, tearing apart the power. Good plan. You do want to get rid of your opponent's energy. It's harder for them to reclaim that back. While Clone, on the other hand, losing their metal extractors, Flipstep taking out a bunch of naked expansion metal extractors. Not terrible. Flipstep still relatively even and a bit ahead on energy. Building up a gunship plant. Got that set up nicely. Clone, however, not quite able to expand over to the south, getting stopped, but still, that was a huge blow for Flipstep. They have a lot of reclaim to work with. And they should be doing that. They probably will be. I expect they'll be doing that. And, well, partially. No one's set to reclaim yet. But at this point, the economy is pretty much on par. However, Clone does have a fair bit more territory, and losing that southeast, that southeast is not secure. Like, Clone southeast, or northeast, northwest rather, they took a bit of damage, but it was secure. They're not going to be hit from the front. Flipstep, on the other hand, they still have to deal with Clone Scorchers. The Scorchers aren't dead yet. 
They just ran away. That's the big problem. Clon still has Scorchers dealing with stuff. Flipstep does not. Flipstep has a big defensive line they have to push through to begin with. Clone, on the other hand, just can just go. So I don't really see what's... I don't see what Flipstep has at this point. I mean, this... This game might last for a little while, but Flipstep... Oh man, taking so much damage. Another massive Scorcher Force. No levelers in the base. Nothing. No Stardust. No real defenses. I think Clone might... Are they going to take this? They're going to take this base. Almost certainly they're going to take this base. These Scorchers are tearing everything to shreds. The Caretaker's down. The Factory will go down very shortly. Not even worried about the Factory. They're worried about the Fusion Plant. I mean, the Rapiers will help a bit, but that lo that Light Vehicle Factory is so dead. That Light Vehicle Factory is dead. Although, the rest of the base being destroyed, but that Fusion... Ah, oh man, that Fusion just explosion took out most of Clone's forces. But Clone just took out most of Flipstep's economy and everything. And Flipstep, that was a Pyrrhic victory for Flipstep. If you could even call it a victory. It was Pyrrhic. And at this point, Clone, with a massive economic advantage, they have about double the economy. They have the anti-air forces. They were just reclaiming like mad on top of their doubled economy. And, of course, they can just build more stuff. Scorchers and levelers at this point. Ravagers only from Flipstep. And... Wait. Oh, they're going for two? Oh, okay. They messed up. No? They're going for two light vehicle factories. What? Did were, were they aware that they were building a light vehicle factory here? I'm confused. Why, why are they building a light vehicle? Whatever. I'm just thinking, why are they building a light vehicle factory there? That makes no sense. And the Hawks doing what they do best. Tearing apart a bunch of air units, particularly rapiers in this case, but yeah. Tearing apart a bunch of air units. Ay. Flipstip is probably feeling extremely pressured right now. The one thing in their favor is that Clone is not that far across the map. But the problem is Flipstip's going to have a really hard time trying to rebuild. They do have a lot of reclaim work with them. How much reclaim do they have? Oh, yeah, about 2,000 or so. Yeah, somewhere around there, 2,500, thereabouts. So Flipstep has a lot of reclaim to work with, at least. It's just, they don't have a lot of easy choices to make as far as what to build. I guess Ravager, Ravager Crasher wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, Ravager would get rid of the levelers, and I guess the leveler support as well for the Scorchers. Or Ravager Scorcher Crasher? That'd be really tough to micro, though. But hey, it might work. That is an option. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, Flipstep cannot really do gunships anymore. Going for slashers! Okay, that's another option. Not a bad option. Not much pushing there, though. I guess... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right, yeah, because they have two, li they have two light vehicle factories. They can just build a bunch of stuff. This never happens. So we have Leveler... Oh, right, some of these levels are clones. We have Leveler and Slasher. That's the, stra that's the strategy to be used, which, I mean, the Slasher kind of makes sense. Leveler, I don't totally agree with. I was thinking Ravager, because the Levelers can't easily deal with Ravagers, because Levelers are weaker. They don't deal that much damage. And Ravagers, the clumping thing doesn't matter as much. Well, Flipstep, oh, just about got that Stardust up. They're going to lose their commander instead. Take out a bunch of Scorchers in the process, but still losing the commander. Ooh, Dominatrix on Slasher. Okay, that's interesting. That could work. And the other light vehicle factory appears to be completely idle. And why is it idle? Because that needs to build stuff. Because there's a bunch of money that just about accessed. Now Leveler fights over to the south side of the map. Well, okay, nothing really happens over the north. Yeah, Leveler fights to the south side of the map. Which are not going especially well for the Levelers. The Scorcher's still pushing through. Scorcher with Leveler support is surprisingly strong. Scorchers on their own are dead, but, you know, with leveler support, they're surprisingly strong. The thing with levelers is that they aren't particularly good one-on-one. -on -one. Like, one leveler versus a group of Scorchers will die. A group of levelers versus a group of Scorchers will wipe out the Scorchers, basically taking no losses. That's the thing with levelers. They only work well in larger groups, like five-plus levelers. If you have fewer than about five-ish levelers, or... 
yeah, I guess cost worth of levelers. Yeah, five or six levelers. At that point, they start to one-shot groups. Or just about one-shot groups. Three levelers is pushing it. One leveler is not enough. And Flipstip, what are you doing? Come on. Okay, and that... That Wyvern probably just seized the match completely. Okay, I probably just have no... Uh, right now, I actually don't have V-Sync on, but I do have a frame... There's a frame limiting thing in the engine. I might turn that off, too, because that's actually why... That's why the stuttering's been happening, because if I click out of the game for any reason, then it causes the game to slow down to a crawl. And become super choppy. Sorry about that. It massively reduces the CPU load of the game, but at this point, Spring is taking up two cores somehow. I didn't even know that was possible. I thought the game wasn't, or rather the engine wasn't fully multi-threaded yet. Normally it's just taking up one core at a time. But apparently two cores now. I guess that's good. Seems like the simulation is being dealt with, well, oh, 40 frames a second. Okay, not great. Yeah, I guess really the V-Sync thing is more for when I'm developing and have a very small amount of units and, and all tabbing away from the game all the time. Then it's really handy. For actually watching games, it doesn't really matter, because if it's over 60 frames per second, that may not last for a long time. Hey, Captain Commander! Captain Commander! Captain Commander! Aw, come on. Okay, the Wyvern's gonna take them out. Oh well. That, I've never seen the Commander get captured, actually. I don't know what would happen in that case. How many Wyverns are there? Three! Okay, that makes... Or sorry, well, yeah, there are Wyverns. I haven't been called Legos in a while. That's a lot of Wyverns. Okay, that's that's really good then, because that's going to deal a lot of damage. That'll pretty much deal with everything up to this point. Scorch is coming in for Clone to rip everything apart. I mean, Flipstep defending as best as they can, but Clone, Clone can just power through most of this stuff. The leveler being a bit of a problem. Oh, that Mason barely alive. That's still not enough though. The Wolverines will be coming in. Oh, main base. Yeah, main base. Take out the. Take out the factory. Ooh, one of those burns actually goes down. Ouch, that's 2,000 metal. 2,000 metal cloned would rather not have lost. Right in the middle of the terror. Oh, wow, that's right in no man's land. And Flipstep with the, scorch with the slasher just trying to push the north side defenses. I mean, they're holding on. It's just really hard for them to push forward, and their economy is so much farther behind clones that I don't know how long they can even hold this. I mean, we can see, clone is just building Wolverns like they're nothing, and still accessing. Or not quite accessing, they're still not accessing yet, but they're almost accessing. They're still having to, they're still fighting excess. They're still fighting hard to make sure they don't excess. And they're spamming Wolverns. Like, that's 2,000 metal a pop. They're, they're Demi Striders. And the Wolverines in the center trying to do what they can for the defenses. Actually, just about breaking them open, too. It looks like there is enough of an opening that Flipstiv could get some damage in. But at the same time, Scorches, 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 Scorches everywhere. And Levelers coming in. This is what I mean by group... Of, well, this is what I may mean by group of six levelers, levelers. We'll see in a moment. Six Levelers are coming in. That's exactly the group size I was talking about before. Well, five or six. And yeah, see? Does a pretty good job. Except, of course, when the Wyvern comes in and starts blowing them to pieces. Wyverns, plural. There's four of them. Five of them, maybe. How many are there right now? There are four. One of which is under production. Three active, one in production. Yeah, Crash is coming in to try to deal with this. Not doing too hot of a job. I mean, they've got almost 2,400 health. That's a lot to deal with for anti-air. This is actually one of those situations where a chainsaw might actually be more useful. Granted, the game where it was useful and ended up winning the game, so I'm not... I shouldn't really laugh at that too much. But yeah, at this point, what does Flipstub even have? They're pushing out levelers and raptors as fast as they can. But they are so far on the back foot. Still not dead yet. Taking a bit of damage in the main base, but... Not dead yet. These Wolverns, though. These Wolverns, how many are there? There should be five now? Yeah. Four active, five, fifth in production. I mean, that's just bombs everywhere. 
tearing everything apart. I mean, really. And the level are trying to stop Glowing. I mean, pushing back Glowing. If they can take... Where? Actually, there's a lot of reclaim. There's still a lot of reclaim. Flipstep has a lot of reclaim to work with. And they're still building up characters to do so. But they have one factory. That's it. They have one light vehicle factory. That's all they have to their name. Which, admittedly... Okay, I can totally see why they built two. Because it means they have a spare. And that spare has been doing them a lot of good recently. Like, it's actually been helping. Getting a lot of forces going along the southeast. Looks like they want to go for a bit of a backdoor attack. Not sure this is going to work. It's, this is close. This, I mean, it's not really close. It's actually quite much... It's very much in the advantage of Clone. But, I don't know. I mean, the defenders are a problem. But with enough forces distracting them, it might just work. Clone's commander taking a bit of damage. Shouldn't be a pro... Oh, well, never mind. It will be a problem. Is he going to die? Nope. Okay, there it goes. Okay, it will die if it pushes any more forward. I would have been very surprised if it died. And, yeah, just barely. Okay, the next Ravager does kill it. But still, that took a lot longer than I th than it looked like it was going to at first. And now Scorch is coming in here to finish everything off in the expansion base, and that's pretty much it. That was so... That, the amount of reclaim that's been lost from that, I think that'll probably do the game in. Yeah, that's... 3,000 reclaim that was flip tips and now no longer is, or would have been flip tips and no longer is, after losing the factory without any other factory being constructed. Flipstip is so distracted right now. I, I think they're just desperately trying to do whatever they can with the units down south. I mean, they're probably trying to build a factory up north, but still, this is really tough. Nope, that's game. That's game. Flipstip throws in the towel. Valiant effort to hold on, but yeah, they lost... They lost a lot of ground early on. I think that early Mason... That early Mason there was a bit of a problem, because they would have expanded quite quickly and and taken the, north, the south side as well early and then been able to defend that, and that would have been easier to hold that and have a more even game, rather than being disadvantaged from the get-go. Like, that disadvantage was a problem. That was a serious problem. You could tell that was a problem. Just in the way it was going, that clearly was causing issues. Whereas Clone, they had their northwest side defended. They didn't have to worry about it. Even if they got attacked, they could easily rebuild. Flipstep could not rebuild that. Pretty much for the rest of the game, they couldn't rebuild that. And that gave Clone a huge advantage. Anyway, that was that. That'll be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching. Sorry about the minor, minor, minor technical difficulties. But I'll see what I can do for next time. That really hasn't really happened before. I'm very surprised that happened. Nothing's running more than, than usually runs. So sorry about that. But hopefully that will be sorted out by next time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that regardless, and have a good night, everyone.